Uh, today's guest lectures in surface materials online elective course, as you all know, are Mariana uh, Schmidt and Andre Pepato from MNMA Studio based in Brazil. We are very happy and excited to have MNMA Studio as guest lecturer today among us. Uh, let me introduce MNMA Studio briefly and then maybe uh, they can uh, continue uh, after my brief introduction. MNMA Studio is a transdisciplinary architecture studio based in Sao Paulo, Brazil, that develops projects with sensitivity, articulating the elements in a simple and intimate way. They have the purpose of integrating disciplines with a strong plastic appeal without restrictions uh, to the use of materials and constructive techniques to develop projects with diversity of scales from temporary, temporary facilities to urban interventions. Um, I would like to thank them again uh, for joining uh, all the way from Brazil uh, today for us, for our lecture. Thank you very much, Nas, for the nice introduction. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I hope you can hear as well and you are safe. Uh, we would like also to thank you very much. Thank the Dr. Ahmed Sejin, father of faculty of EMAP. Thank you for the opportunity for the interest in our office. Um, okay, so we have introduced MNMA. Thank you. Maria. Um, hey there. Um, so glad you're here with you guys. Um, I don't speak so well, and we're not teachers, so be patient with us. And if someone lost in translation, please let me know. Um, a MNMI studio um, believes in a process that's not speak uh, about form or uh, more about raising of sensations um, from femoral or uh, to permanent. That way, we believe um, the architecture surpasses surpass the simple answer in terms of material comfort. Um, I think. Um, it's special when architecture it's not it's do not become an individual activity. And about uh, today, about we think about we we will talk uh, in, in that moment with uh, to inspire uh, about the materiality. And, uh, we think of uh, of material has the creation of intimacy to architectural space. All materials um, are taught to reverberate the connection between nature and external space. So the reunion of selection materials in a project shape, shape a present in the um, architecture. I think that important create an emotional connection to memories and, feel, and feeling of people. Um, the material can be work and the resonance between space, sound, um, air, lights, even smell, they all together, you, you constitute the atmosphere of the project. So that this is important. Space is beyond shape. For us, this is very important. The space without a form. So when I look at a think kind of building without form, I, I like to think about this. I want to uh, create emotional space which get to, to people. Uh, the rise of perception uh, must be naturally accepted, not imposed. So that is important. Uh, that that is the importance of materials. They be, they become vehicles to create the atmosphere. And when I think earth, when I think uh, building or designer, uh, even in interior design uh, uh, with earth, this is, is my best memory. You know. I remember when I'm a child, I remember the smell after the rain. This is this very emotional. So I hope in that process today, um, 
we can inspire you to uh, think about this because architecture, it's not just about, about space, but definitely about the connections. Okay. Now we want to take a look at earth as a construction material. And my remark is that we're not trying to explain the material in all of its characteristics, but rather we want to provide some overview of it and focusing on interior design and to show you our experience on doing it, on using it as in, in several uh, manners. Some facts about Earth. Uh, Earth is the, is the construction element of some of the oldest buildings on planet. Because some people think Earth is fragile or not uh, resistant. And this is a testimony of the quality of the material. If well used, it can be um, like eternal or it must be maintained, but it can be done and it, it can, it can uh, live through, through the ages. And approximately half of people in the world, like six, three billion people, they live in this kind of building. But I guess you're wrong. Because I won't talk, when I talk, when I think about construction with earth, so I really need to introduce for all you guys, my best friend and brilliant friend, Ovenberg. <laughs> that guy, that guy knows everything about construction and decoration with earth. Yes, Maria, you're right. Super right. This guy knows what he wants and he knows the material. Uh, the Ovenberg builds with earth long before the humans, of course. And maybe it's the inspiration for humans because in other ages, we are looking very closely to nature. Did you guys know uh, over birth? It, 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 they, they can re answer. <laughs> That's amazing because we're talking everything and don't have questions. Mm, I got good. it. Okay, let's explain what oven bird does. This is the nest of the oven bird. And he builds it in about one week to provide shelter for the mates. So the technique that he's using is, is to having earth with saliva together in order to bake some kind of uh, plaster. And this plaster is molded by his own mouth and he builds like this house of two chambers and with one opening. This opening you can see in the picture is against the wind so that the wind cannot carry on things they don't want inside the nest. In this picture you can see that the nest is made of two chambers. You come through a door there's a narrow passage and inside of it, there's a inter an internal chamber. The internal chamber has a high, uh, high ceiling. It's higher than the passage in order to provide an adequate weather climate, uh, weather treatment to the, um, to the eggs inside. So uh, the material is like, acts very, very, efficiently as a shelter and as a climate control system. And here's the wind coming against, against the opening so that it's all protected. It, they don't need a door. Wow, this is amazing, cute. <laughs> the guy is very, very amazing. I don't know, maybe I guess we could hire the guy, they design the sure dwellings. It's amazing. <laughs> this is a luxury condo. Made with, only with earth, 
and it's very it, it has the adequate climate control they want okay so go back to the go, go back to the humans in your um, how humans use it. um earth has a very very important um, properties that we want to highlight which is the high thermal mass which is when you use earth uh, it takes time to heat to come across the walls or the coatings you've chosen. So most of times, in, especially in hot climates, it has been successfully used to protect against excessive heat because the heat cannot surpass a certain thickness of a wall. And at night, when temperature changes, it releases the heat it accumulated in the, in the, during the day. The other quality I want to highlight is that Earth can be as porous as, you, as, porous as you like, or you can make it impermeable, depending on the treatment you do, you can uh, provide the Earth to, with. And to deal with the earth, we always need a binder material, which is, which is to say the clay itself, it's, it's not stable. You must stabilize it, adding some binder material, and you can add some other additives in order to, to change the properties of the earth. So uh, we can do a lot of different construction elements with earth, not only walls, but you can use it for finishing, for example, like a coating. You can uh, install ceramics on floors or even uh, walls. When you need permeability, for example, the earth can be treated to let moisture come in and out of the surface it's coating. And some people use it with ceilings, like you build a structure, and after that you add some of some plaster made of earth, and it has the same the same properties of permeability of air and humidity. If you want, it can be used as a, a structural element too. If you add some rocks, for example. <laughs> the economical uh, and environmental aspects of Earth is also uh, a good remark because Earth is very abundant and usually it is used in the same place you take the Earth. So if you think about a carbon cycle, there is an opportunity of Earth to be the most ecological material you can use because you can use it in the same place and it's almost impact zero if you know how to do it. Uh, if you don't bake it, if you treat this uh, not adding energy, you can reduce a lot of the footprint, the carbon footprint as well. You can use it to the way you can excel at lead certification, like presentation. And it's very abundant, so it's cheap. In fact, it's cheap. The, I want to highlight these three main techniques we've researched, which are very widespread. Adobe is one of the most, the, the ancient of all techniques, which is to make bricks using uh, clay and some additives to, to binder, a binder material like uh, chalk, for example, in order to make it uh, strong enough to hold stress. And if you add straws to it, you have adobe, which is the straws are very good at holding the, how do I say? At, at avoiding cracks on the surface. So the compounding of these two elements make something like uh, very strong of the forces they, 
they're, they're acting. Remed Earth, it's another technique, which is very simple, in fact, which is uh, using two planks to make like a, a place in which you can put the clay inside of it and you compress this clay, which is confined between the planks. So you can create layers of walls, a lot of layers of walls. You can add one on, over the top of it or the other in order to make a wall, for example. It remedies uh, results in very strong walls too, but they are not as easy as adobe for, uh, for, for changes because adobe is made of bricks and remedies is like a solid, a monolithic wall. And as a coating, if you add some moisture to it, uh, it can be used as a plaster or a projector. We've done both techniques and they're very productive because, especially the projector, because it covers a lot of areas very fast. There are much more ways of using it, but those three are the experiences we've had until now. Well, I want to talk about this process and the pe that people. I don't know if you guys know, but this is the Kassana people. Uh, they live in Burkina Faso, Africa. And actually in Burkina Faso, he's uh, the most uh, amazing constructions uh, with earth and vernicol vernicola architecture. Um, with the amazing architecture, I, I don't know if you know, uh, Kere. So search about this guy because for me, this is very special and amazing. And that is an ancestral technique, the paint with earth. The paint is made of plaster, uh, made of clay. And after they put a second layer uh, made of manure. And the, finally, they, they, they mix with a layer of red clay overall. And they, they made this black color. They made the black color. Uh, it's made uh, of volcanic rocks with uh, water. And culturally, uh, they use the black color and that drawings um, has an education instrument, has the, like an open air school with message they help preserve traditional, um, like a legacy. So I want to invite to watch with us the community day woman in Burkina Faso doing the painting in this house because I believe the architecture great potential is that is a perform. So I mean, it tells a story, create profound connections between people and the very environment. So you can you can create intimacy on so many scales, uh, from the city to the building, to the details into the building, or design a window, or even a dinner plate. Um, I think when we talk about the earth, um, it's important we take a look to the past for develop a, a new moment in the present. But that, that culture, uh, they are uh, millions of years um, working, building, and drawing and design with earth. So all that extra uh, the, the the walls, uh, it's made with uh, clay and earth, but the decoration, it's the same with the same materials. And uh, I, I, I guess the video have the 10 minutes and I, I really like the, the, the introduce that for you. So I hope you like and see. Sorry, can you see our screen? Yes, yes we can see. Okay.
Just like over there. Pour moi, la Cour royale est l'avenir de la préservation de notre culture. 
car nous sommes menacés de jour en jour par la modernisation. Ce lieu est une opportunité pour la culture Kassena en particulier et même pour la culture Burkinabé en général. I hope this process can inspire you about the look, look over to the past and look to the people, architecture, finding in these days with more technology. And now we, we talk about the process because they are, we choice the Africa because Africa in Brazil and we based in, in Brazil, Sao Paulo, have a, a huge process and in history so for us it made sense talk about Africa in that in that uh, presentation presentation okay I'll give you more context about the connections between Africa and Brazil uh, as you probably know Brazil is a young country relatively young country formed by the merge of native European and African cultures in a process of colonization that endured roughly 400 years. Uh, this is time enough to have a lot of techniques uh, mixed up in our country. It, that happened and we can see a lot of very nice examples here that uses this kind of mix of techniques. Um, we have, mainly we have two techniques. One is like, uh, it's very much like you, you have seen now, the Remed Earth technique. And there's a variation we call power picking, which is, I'll try to explain that. Uh, you create a frame of a wall, like you build with wood, a frame of wall and you use some kind of um, 
very lightweight wood to, in order to make a mesh of wood. And there's this very fun technique, which is to take the owner and uh, two guides, they must be used to make the wall because one of the guys is inside and other guy is outside. And they take the earth and together they like dub the earth. It's like they take the earth and clap hands with the earth. And then in this process, the earth adheres to the frame. So you can build like very fast. And uh, it is very using in our coastlines. And most of houses that uses this technique also have some very wide porches in order to protect it from the rain. It is it's durable, but uh, it requires some kind of maintenance to 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 keep to stay uh, always working. Yeah. Uh, now we talk about um, uh, the. The, the Strapco project. It's a, a project that um, we did in Brazil. Um, the general purpose in that place uh, is create a contemporary element that when opened, you to bring back some lost time of forms or construction. Um, a slow pass of the time, earth place feels like home. So that when you talk about Africa, about Earth, about the process, we we really inspire us. This uh, really inspire us. Think about the the cons construction and um, made the uh, plasticity in the space with Earth, but uh, more technology with more design. With uh, but in the same way. Uh, we try to uh, do this in Brazil with the community locals or uh, artisans. So for this um, process be expression and more slow. Okay, um, I'll talk about the building we've received to, to refurbish. Uh, this is a cross section in which I'm not left to see the, the street that serves the, the plot. And there's a, 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 a ground level we've opened up. We've removed all walls. And this stair takes us to a, a low level patio. And in this patio, we have positioned a kitchen. And the very end of the plot, we positioned a, a bathroom. Like a, a bathroom, uh, yes, a, a bathroom compound. And uh, in the upper floor of the main house, there is a yoga class. And uh, below it, it has some yeah, yoga class here. And below it, it, it has some a, a space in which our clients used to, to, to treat plants. He uses a, ver a variety of beautiful tropical plants he sells in here. And it's like they compound with our space. It's so beautiful. In front of it, we've made a, this concrete stairway. And in, in the end, it is the wall, the stair you saw in the first picture. And here's the kitchen and the layout of the Bathrooms. Okay. Well, uh, with this project, we intended uh, to use the most update technology uh, in the vernacular architecture. So to connect the past and present in harmony. Um, while very traditional bricks are like a discovering for the urban population. And we use uh, Project Earth is not well known. Uh, there are many qualities to use a uh, projected earth, um, water base, uh, credit for lead, uh, agri uh, credit for lead, uh, natural sustainable 
and naturally his sense of weather like sun, wind, rain, uh, time variation. Less mold and necessary moisture uh, because the material breathes no smell and acoustic properties. So um, you can use um, in uh, different ways, like earth floor is great because the, that brick, that bricks in the floor, we designed that and made it with clay and earth. Uh, and he's, he's, he's great because the, um, he's great for the temperature control because the thermal mass delays the transfer of heat of, uh, to the ground. And over the floor, for more lip span, uh, special uh, oil, you use in other project, uh, cook house, uh, we will show you for, for you and the, um, and the, the, all, the next slides. So uh, this is all uh, with earth, projected earth. And this is amazing because every, everybody comes to the, the place, think this is a painting or something uh, very technology, but it's very simple. It's very typical. But uh, it's, it's um, uh, I believe, it have the sense of connection uh, when you use earth, because everybody feels something when look for the kind of color or the material. Uh, it's, it's, it's like I, I said, uh, they feel like home. And we like the project because the facade can be totally open and we, we bring it. Sorry. I missed something. Um, and this is amazing because uh, we connection the external place if interior design and the fields is the same place, you know. Um, I believe when you think about interior design, it's important you think is the, is the continuous about the architecture. When you think about materials, when you think your choices, uh, this, is, this, is, this is so much because uh, in generally the, the, pe the people that uh, think um, in the depressive way uh, uh, in Brazil about the interior design. But I don't believe that. I believe it's very important you think about your interior design, you think about your materials, you think about uh, the sensation. Because when you can create the spaces, this is the uh, good architecture. This is the, um, the, real, the real finality um, uh, uh, to building or design a place because we serve, you know, Architect um, can remember always uh, create a space. It's more about the think about people and not just about the drown. Okay. Uh, so now I have a different case we want to show you. Uh, it's a different situation, but we've used it successfully the earth as a material as well. This is the sailor, it's a shoe star here in Sao Paulo or city. Um, and this project is about a, a tiny, a tiny real estate, a, a tiny place. We have changed a lot in the ground floors. So to create this kind of uh, bathroom with rounded uh, walls and we've, Planted again the um, facade again, we change it dramatically, and we've we've managed. The first thing first thing we saw is that the building was enclosed by three walls, and no no ventilation and, and no. It's a, it's a very claustrophobic place. So we've decided to create this uh, the, this zenithal uh, window to the to the sky. So this is the result. 
it, this is when we are upstairs and look to the to the second floor to the second floor to the well of white we've created i like to go back to the first the the first in the silo no the first yeah i like when you uh, look for that because uh i think when you you uh, think about interior design uh, uh, the materials correspond um huge uh, a lot about the sensibility of the, the place but for me it's very special when someone come uh, a place a shoe, shoe store and probably everybody want buy a shoe store look for the, the floor look for the fit because it's, it's more probable but in that place we we want the people look for the sky look for uh, the open place and i think in interior design or in architecture you can create it tiny provocations and people because for me in the context of the world today it's very it's very beautiful thing when someone look to the sky they remember everything about and above the same sky even while your beliefs even your religions even your country everybody is above the same sky so this is uh it's the more um, more think it's passion in that project for me because someone think maybe think about that someone just buy your shoes but uh, for me it's magical you know it's that when magical happens in architecture you can see the pay, the, the the sun uh, cross all the day and the change in the sky and the change the colors and this is magical for me and when our clients talk about this place they always always um, be uh, how can i say encantados um, i don't know this word i'm lost here sorry um, sometimes uh, our, our language Portuguese is very uh, have a, a many words and sometimes it's difficult translation of that feelings. But amazing. It's it's it's, it's like amazing, but not amazing. Amazing. It's an ordinary word for that feeling. I will, I want to talk about. Sorry, guys, but my I'm very I'm, I'm very. is very complex sometimes to uh, translation and well i'm i'm lost totally in the sky now because i'm really like look the sky all your projects having open um that kind of open because in all projects i really want the people look the sky and remember uh we we very small in the world it, it very insignificant uh, in this, in the context, more expressive. So, when you think in your places, I think it's important you you remember have something more special and more um, bigger about us. Uh, we're not just uh, only the important. So, I think it's uh, it's nice when you probably you graduating and start project or work in, in studios or open your yourselves think about this because it's very uh, sad when someone take a um, a hand and drown in drown the way ordinary so think about be extraordinary but think about be typical about the materials in that case we use clay, uh, clay with uh, pigments and natural currents. Uh, it's nice because every clay is naturally diverse in color and because they, they change in this uh, composition. 
and that is authentic because that, that is authentic expression uh, of variants of minerals like silica, iron, oxides, alumina, calcium, potassium. So the clay, when in contact with water, expands. So it's always so always the minerals in movement, but it's very resilient. Means they will not crack. This is amazing about that material. And you can create, like us, the walls, think like live walls, life walls. The walls breathe. The wall uh, um, can breathe. And in the passage of the years, uh, you have the material can um, turn on a new possibilities, new colors. It's never static, you know, they never stop brief, they never stop changing. For, for us, it's very amazing about this project because uh, it's very sensible, it's very um, particular when we choice material, we, we research a lot about materials. So I suggest you when you start a project, visit your site, place and think about the materials think about the atmosphere you can create it about this sometimes uh, we our materials can create our spaces so sometimes we think we, we think about the about the place uh, because we just start about the materials it's amazing so uh, in, when you look up, uh, uh, in the space, they, they, they can breathe, have a kind of calm. And uh, uh, we live in Sao Paulo, and Sao Paulo is a chaotic city. So no one stop, no one can uh, be slow uh, or just arrive in a place and um, created a different time to the passage of time. And I think your, when I think about the, our projects, they have the capacity because the materials, they create that, that atmosphere. So um, uh, most of the people when talk about us, uh, the places they visited, the, 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 the spaces talk about this. They feel things more calm, the feelings they can be more slowly. They feel they can, they think more clear. So it's um it's important you think about this. It, of course, I I can uh, I can believe it in, the, in that year we need talk about the process the the place of vital. This is the base. This is the, the basis for your startup project. How, how, how you can be possible, uh, more uh, responsive about nature, about the world, it's your obligation when you, you talk about the project. This is not um, a something special you can do in your project, you know? So for me, this is based. I, I, can, I don't believe I can uh, teach or talk or uh, uh, think about the nature because uh, we all together can think and change your process and buildings uh, because I know we know about the uh, uh, the problems in weather, the climate, climate, climate changes. So this is the basic, you know. When you think about the projects, uh, uh, of course you think about this, and and you can connect your responsibility about the nat nature and your research about the materials and creative spaces can uh, connect people. This is for me, it's uh, uh, this is this talk about the architecture and interior design is a just a uh, second uh, capital in a history when you talk about a uh, project. So I like when I look that because I know it's a lot of us in the process, you know, the process can be more significant.
so you can research not just your material but who who sell this for you who that 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 uh, your your partner in the process how they how they use uh, the process for um, uh, create the materials that is important thing and be uh, more engaged with nature it's not necessarily work with a hundred percent natural material it's important you be local it's important you support your place you support your community you you change your micro environment about uh, a project in your project even you 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 design a shoe store if you design it uh, ordinary place you can change that thing or the thing the people look for the place with the, the choice in materials so think about this when you arrive in your home when you arrive in the next building and look with more attention the material uh, ask why this this is choice why this material why this process because every time i come in the place I'm, I think about this, and I I tried I tried uh, um, um, not just think, but I try capture something, and I can learn, and I can uh, develop something new uh, or something typical. Okay, now I have a third case. Ooh, it's mine. Uh, this is uh, the project we call Kupi, which is uh, the name of the place. Kupi is, in, is located in the northeast region of uh, the country, which is very far away from us, like 2,000 kilometers away. Uh, the climate is very tropical, very hot and humid, and it's in the coastline. It's a very, very beautiful place. Uh, and this is, this, uh, these are two houses positioned in a very long uh, plot that it comes from the shore to like 200 meters inside land. But uh, the, and the briefing for this project was to design two equal houses with subtle changes. Um, here we, we've used the earth as a material as well, but with a heavy, heavy, uh, heavily in chalk, we, we've used earth as a coating material in this case. Uh, the house was made of conventional structure due to the availability on the place, and we've managed this construction from which endured like one year, less than one year from design to finish. And here you can see the, where it stands in the, in the beach. And the floor, we've used it, the color of the floor is, is an additive of the cement. We've used the cement with some additive, some color, col uh, some pigment to it. As you can see, the walls are not regular because they were applied by hand, just like you saw in the, um, the video we presented to you. We found this technique in the local artisans and they managed to, to coat all the building with that. I like this project because because I talked uh, early in the presentation about the you use earth and clay in floor. So this floor, we made it that. The, the plastic use uh, in the floor is a clay, is a mixer. The earth, clay, and cement, cement is? Cement. Cement. Cement is so, the, the binder material. In and, and that color is? Uh, created on a surface with a pigment. So I think uh, you can create a, the sensibility because 
when you think about this project, the choice, the materials, you you want, we always want um, work with um, less. We don't like to put a lot of, because I believe uh, when you're building something uh, or designing an interior, interior for a family or it's, it's different when I think about a store or a commercial place or a, bu a building, I don't know, because problem that family have, have, a, have a history, have a, 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 something they, they want to put in the place. They, they want to make uh, uh, the choice about the furniture, about the, 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 the things in the place. So in, the pro in our project, we, we designed the interior, choice materials, but we, oh, we always open space for the, 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 the clients uh, can uh, be more particip particip part, um, can, can, can cr we create the participation with the clients, you know, because it's very um, wrong when you think of place and the clients or the, the people don't, uh, they not can, they not can be involved in the process. So I like the, the house because it's very simple. Um, uh, local artisans made this, the, this walls, the floor, and you use a lot of mat natural materials. So you use the plaster because it's very simple, but create a, um, a new surface, you know? And in, a, in, the, in that place, this will work. And I think it's important you, you in a process when you try the materials. Of course, you think about the place. We think about, it's complicated you try some material, don't, don't have the uh, performer, performer for that country or that place just because uh, it's built or beautiful. And built beautiful material or ugly material doesn't exist because this is relative. Some think it's amazing for me, but for you it's not. Or some think have a reason for your clients, for my not. So this is very relative and I don't believe it's um, nice when you, you put it in two, in two ways, you know, in two sides. Ah, this is beautiful, this is ugly, this is good, this is not. I think it's more uh, incredible when you change your perception about this, this, because you can use something again, ordinary, typical, and uh, gives um, a new expression for that material. So when I look at this house, uh, I think about the the small efficient house, the small, the very uh, simple and cheap materials, but we, we can design that material. So we create a new atmosphere. This is a simple house, cheap house, but with design. And this is amazing in that, in that um, process for me. And we will in last, uh, I decided putting that working process because we don't like um, uh, show uh, the, the process in the Instagram or, you know, about your process. Because I think it's more particular. Uh, it's not a show up. It's uh, something about our clients, about your talks. So we, we talk this in, in your office, but Maybe this is, can inspire you. Um, this is work in process. It's an office space in downtown Sao Paulo. Uh, and we had in the place a huge column. And we can change that. So sometimes you can, uh, we design project and we can change the uh, extractor. Extru 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 <laughs> so we can create something with that, you know? So we love to uh, think about the place uh, with a blank um, 
uh, a, a blank uh, a white uh, paper, but it's not possible all the time. So we have a problem in that project. We have a huge column in the middle of the place and the column, um, may, uh, uh, it's an element very uh, tough. Uh, they, they, it's, uh, it's an structural element, but I wanna, um, I wanna be a provocation about this. I wanna, someone comes in the place, look for the huge column, and think, oh my God, this is, this is, um, this is, uh, how can I say that uh, in Portuguese? Um, isso vai desfazer, isso vai isso tá frágil. This is fragile, fragile. fragile. I want someone, someone to look for this huge column and think, wow, this is fragile. Sorry. This is, this is not work. Uh, this is wrong. This is, this is, I can't take this in my hand like sand. Do you know when I go uh, a bit in the, put a hand in your, in your, in your uh, hands, uh, sand in your hands, and uh, like child, you you do send the castle, and sometimes this just uh, don't 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 you can stabilize that. So this is the funny joke in that project. So we try a lot, a lot, a lot, develop something. Uh, it's very resistant. So this is very resistant. But when you look, you think, oh my God, this is not. This is fragile. So we test a lot your materials because um, now in the office, in your studio, we not just buy the materials, we develop materials. So because uh, we want a um, unique and particular materials for some projects. All this is a, a test for, for choices because you, we did a, a different um, mixer, the materials, and always natural materials. Basically, it's clay, sand, and I don't remember the last, but it's, um, I don't remember now, but I, I, will, I will check in my, in, in my, my, in my notes. So you can, you can we, we try, we, you test a lot uh, and to decide the choice. And in your working process, this is the, the column, I talk about. This is the process because this material is applying with hand and uh, uh, some, uh, uh, some layers it's put in and we test and the pro project is not finished, but that does affect and finally, because we, we brief the walls, we, we, we clean the walls, clean the floor, the ceiling, we with materials and I put that materials with uh, some provocate, you know, um, because the more uh, probably someone you use a, 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 a material uh, more static. So I decided to put something uh, you can create a provocate in this space. I, I show this because I think this, the process is important. You can take a time for look materials, think about, and always these materials, all this pro process, it's, uh, they use earth, you know, they use earth. It's very simple, it's very common. Earth is very cheap, but you can change the earth. You know, you not just use earth the, the expected way. You can create a new uh, and resignifying uh, uh, the the, 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 the the material. So I think this is very interesting. So I hope uh, with the this talk because I don't know if uh, I, I know we will have uh, more time and we talk together. But I hope with that uh, presentation. Um, you can uh, look for the very traditional local material and apply in the new way in your project or your future projects. 
and let's let's see how to be typical uh, when you make something really typical it's become special that the, the good actor to it they they it, it change lives you know um so i think it's that uh um i believe it may be you guys i don't know have questions or we talk about other 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 things you want i don't know no no this ela tá acho que agora a gente não tem isso how como a gente volta para lá ver a gente Ah, okay. Oof. Okay, nice. You guys lost or? No, I think it was perfect. Thank you so much for this uh, inspiring lecture. Um, I want to add something or maybe um, tell my expressions about your uh, lecture. What I found really uh, inspiring is uh, you uh, look at the materials, not just uh, the, the way of selection of materials, but you see it's uh, as a living uh, thing and it's a living process that uh, uh, the material uh, chooses that you make. Maybe it's because you, um, you choose uh, earthen materials mostly, but, uh, but it's, it was really interesting and inspiring for me. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Very glad. Uh, I have one specific uh, question about the uh, material. In the uh, uh, shop uh, you uh, shared, the design of the shop, I think there was a bench, a quite circular bench a bit. And what yeah. was the material of that bench? The, you know, the, let's say the structure of it, then it was somehow uh, covered with clay again, was it? Yeah, uh, we use uh, clay. The the bank is uh, made with wood, and we that surface we use clay. The same clay, the the wall, the floor, the ceiling uh, we apply in the bank because that clay um, when you use um, a sort of technology, uh, you can control it. Um, in the past, the clay uh, you just use the clay in the the places like the uh, the army place, you can problems when you, um, you have uh, rain, and now you can with some technology use clay. The clay breathe, but you can use the bathroom and floor and bank. Uh, it's amazing. We like a lot. Uh, and I would uh, uh, ask another question, following question. Uh, what about the all in these designs shop or uh, house design, your designs, the maintenance of these uh, clay or earthen materials on the surfaces of the walls or the floors? Uh, of course, they will need maintenance, I suppose, correct me if I'm not uh, right. Uh, they will uh, demand maintenance more than probably like a granite floor or, you know, uh, wall, etc., so uh, how it is done, are the, for instance, the owners doing them regularly on their own and uh, from the, uh, I suppose again, at the beginning of the project, probably they know that, you know, you will design such a, uh, you know, interior, they need to do the maintenance and are they happy to do them on, on their own or they are, are they hiring people to do that? Or like in the movie we have watched at the beginning, you know, are they doing happily themselves, making it a, it a celebration? How, it, how does it go on? Uh, have you uh, followed, you know, what's happening then to the materials? Okay, maintenance is always uh, needed and every material has its durability. In the case of the floor, we have used some waxes to, that are constantly replenished because the wax creates a layer, a layer of sacrifice, they say. It's like you give a layer to receive scratches and some, something like this, but you replenish, you, you keep on going like from time to time, 
to uh, reapply the wax. There are some add-ons, but more are chemicals. They're, they're more aggressive to, to create this kind of layer. But we like the renewable layer because it can be changed. Yes, and we, we talk about this with the clients and they agree, so we, we go on. Because they wanted the material to be as sustainable as possible, and that's the option we offer them. But um, it's, it's interesting because now we, we try a uh, build in Rio de Janeiro, uh, and it's common in, uh, it's, it's when you design a building, they they uh, they ask uh, use the resistant materials. So you have to assign something for all oh, this material can can uh, during a long time without problems. But uh, it's possible you use natural materials or uh, earth material in facades with no problem. In Rio de Janeiro, we will use the project paint with rocks. Just rock, uh, rocket uh, glutinate, and you can be you can project in all facade that building. And in the first time you, you talk about this with cli client, they say, "What? You you crazy? What do you mean? No, 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 no! I don't I don't put a rock in my facade. I want to sell this building for people and not have problem for this. But uh, I believe you, you can stop it in the first no." I got you got it because in the process in your student you you we listen a lot of no no this worker my dog knows this is working this don't don't good for the, the the place no 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 my my grandfathers say this is not this don't don't works this is don't 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 good for the place but if you if you uh, uh, my point is this is not your client you can um, say for you if this work or not, or it's not durable, or have the process in my notice. It's your, it's 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 your way you talk about this and the way you learn it all day day by day for clients for uh, a new younger students. It's it's possible. You need more um, work, you know. You need more disposition for the desk but it's possible. And um, I have a daughter and for me, it's very important when she looks at the beauty and she knows mm, my mom, my mother uses something great. Uh, it's not aggressive and this is working in 10 years, this building works. In 20 years, this building works. For a million of the years, it's building with her. It's in, in, in that moment now with COVID and we don't know what this happened in the future. Uh, we, we can control all this. Um, but uh, something is, 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 is certainly, you'll be local, you'll be more extra, extra strategic um, with your materials local and people want more places that uh, can be brief, you know, because every time more, we, we have more, um, um, not possibilities, the wide places, the natural places. So this is important, we think, and try to change day by day in your process. Thank you. By the way, I forgot to thank you. That was a really, uh, both for your answers and it was a very, very be uh, beautiful, uh, inspiring presentation. Thanks for this for your time. Okay, okay thank you, thank you. I have questions, can I ask? Sure. Hi. Hi, uh, firstly, thank you for your presentation. Um, I am Idil, I'm for, uh, I am fourth grade student. Uh, my questions about is um, the project uh, Doris Tropicos, sorry for present pronunciation. Um, I want to ask about uh, the uh, stay staircase. Uh, you talked about a uh, ramped earth, and uh, do you did you use uh, when construction this uh, staircase 
uh, rent earth, how it how uh, was it be uh, shaped? I um, I am asking this. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Sorry. Idish. Oh my God! I I I I not trying. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's hard. <laughs> Um, you talk about the the stuff, which is the round or, yes. or it's or the bricky stuff. That one round. Oh, this is nice because you can use cement because it's um is um it's a technological cement you use, but um now in this day uh, it's come it's more easy you design and. Um, asking for an engineer or a, a building, just come in the in the site specific and do this. But in the process, we decide to use the wood, the recycled wood, wasted, the, wasted, and your your artisans they made it the for, former former. I don't know this the word. woodwork. They made the shape that contains the concrete. Yeah, they made that shape. Hand with hand, so for me it's amazing because probably someone uh, go to buy a plant or I don't know use the place. Don't think about this. But when I look for the start, the the, the, the start, I know they they put it hand by hand the the wood the the shape and the cement it's made in the local place. And when we um, take off the, the shape, the, 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 the stent, I know we have um, some deformation or some, it's not perfect, it's not precise. It's important because it's very calculated. We have a head, um, um, extremely calculated because they don't, <laughs> I don't wanna know that they start, um, down so it's important that i don't i don't say for you guys you don't need the <laughs> student the, the that file okay yeah, it's not listen. it's not like legal you put it it's okay no have a calculate about this it, this is a very serious but i decided to uh, do with the artisan hand by hand and it, when you put the earth project in the uh, the project earth they they have the waves they have a um, little deformation but for me it's not a different deformation for me it's, it's not ugly or wrong it's more it's special it's because it's made it with woman with hand and when you use the hands you never have the same perfection the 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 shape so this is the artisan uh, Created something very technological with something very old and create a new possibility uh, when you design. And that for us, it's amazing when about the start. But your clients say, Oh my god, no, no, I don't want to buy this. This is it's very uh, how how time how time is this 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 work? Uh, what two weeks? No, 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 no. I don't I don't have two weeks for this, no, no. But then we try, we see, see, we sing songs, we, we, <laughs> we dance. sometimes we dance, but it works. And uh, this is the point. <laughs> sometimes you can uh, fight for your ideas, but it's not a fight in the um, um, wrong way. It's a good fight, you know? Because if you, everybody, you, someone say no, you just put in the plastic in, in, your, in your project. In, in the more easy you're putting flat, but it, I don't know. I think it's not a point. It's not the point the class. And not at all. It, th this is not the case of this place, especially because they they've opened to us the very good opportunity to make some kind of uh, handcrafted place. They wanted this yeah. and they do this and, as a, as an activity as well. And it's it's amazing because your clients. Uh, uh, no expecting the huge um, uh, conversation about this that project. So when they open the door for the public, they oh my god we we can we can 
can uh, receive all the people. It's, it's crazy because uh, everybody comes for see the place and, and uh, they don't they sell all the plants and then one week it's it's crazy and I, and I think no I for me uh, it's it's um, exhaustive because I learn about for someone the importance they create new things with all the process but I know you, you, uh, every time we change one mind, one, the process change a lot of people because one stairs, one brick, it's come over all, all my city. And we know a uh, problem we will talk about you guys today because that project, it's very problem. It's very, it's very, so for, for us, it's very um, special this, you know, because I think, wow, uh, it's very, hard sometimes but it's, it's it's good because the the mind changes the process changes and problem in all the offices can be do this with more uh, facility because uh, we open the the way you know thank you for answering that and my uh, following question is uh, about same project uh, how was it the pipes for uh, earth sink? I mean, um, how it, uh, how did it uh, use uh, sink and sink, uh, sink pipes and the earth? Uh, what is the connection between them? And um, we, if we don't uh, use another uh, material, and uh, we take the normally pipes and uh, earth together. Uh, it, uh, uh, will it be uh, wrong? Okay. Um, you, you're, you're, you're talking about the sinks. Yes. Okay. And the sinks we have managed to change the composition in order to make it impermeable. So, and, and there is a special connection uh, in the points in which the pipes meet the bottom of the sink and there was a ceiling there but the sink itself is coated with some mixture which is impermeable so it's it's working and it's fine and you do something a bit crazy because when you buy the sink um a gente a gente throw uma peça. Um, we've changed we've some changed parts the, of yeah. the sink in order to adapt because we're not working <laughs> A standard materials and that, that was necessary to to ensure it will work. It will Again, work. your clients say what? I buy a, a something and you change and maybe broke and, and it works? And why does it work? We don't, we don't do something um, something uh, uh, the, it's not something uh, like you buy a, a sink, you know? We create a sink. It's, it's sometimes uh, we, we, we have in the process, in the working process, uh, we think in, in the paper or about in the studio, oh, this is work, right? And when we realize in, in the, the, the construction, mm, don't work or don't work the way we want, but uh, it's, it's when you do something empirical, sometimes this happens, but, uh, it's it's we we calculate the 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 risk about this ah okay it's just a, a piece of the sink i think it's okay we try and work thank you i want to uh, ask or maybe add something uh, i guess you uh, travel to Africa or travel a lot to understand how that earth material uh, behave or how uh, does the culture affect the material. Uh, we are uh, trying to encourage our students to travel more or uh, to, uh, to, uh, to do their internships, for example, internationally to uh, experience more. So uh, I want to ask if you want to add uh, something about uh, the relation between traveling and the material uh, experience or maybe uh, material culture 
uh, you mentioned a little bit, maybe to conclude, uh, I want to ask, I wanted to ask it again. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's uh, super necessary someone travel to create uh, something uh, uh, new and typical. I think uh, sometimes it's important you look uh, for your local place, you know. We talk about Africa. I, I, I spent a time in Africa, Andre lived in Africa for a, a while, two years. two years, and we both love in Africa, but it's because have a connection if we are country. And I think it's the best place. If you, if you accident have a, a, um, a tip, uh, look to the Africa. Africa is, is, the, is the old new place in the world. Uh, a lot of um, countries dispute the place in, in Africa. Africa is uh, have um, uh, a huge territory. Uh, uh, so problem in the in the few years is the new is the new uh, place in the world. So we look a lot for the past and the future. And I, I think Africa is the the point. But um, for me. Um, I will uh, do a master in the vernacular architecture in Africa. So I research a lot about this. But I, my, my favorite, my inspiring when I think about the architecture is the two, two architects, Bahagan and Kere. Because both uh, use the local um, culture and the, the ancient techniques or the Common techniques in the, the common houses and, and create something new about this. You know, problem in, in your culture, you you have something about your system of construction or your culture on your past, and you can look for that. Because and, and of course you can travel, you can see new uh, places, but I think the nature. Is the the most inspired place you can look and think about when you design. Uh, I don't think the student ah don't go to the New York, don't go the go don't go look for the building. No, don't do that. Just just try to create a connection for the cultures ancestral because problem you learn. A, a lot about this. You know um, everything you know about the construction today and the developing technology. It's because in the past we uh, someone explored the the small cultures, but this is process for turn up uh, new. It's because we have the past. So my 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 advice or tip: look for nature. Look for your your traditional construction. Uh, think about the history about your country. Why your country uh, is your culture or city uh, uh, is the shape or the places is that way today? Because have a process, and in that process, someone's passion you can use. You know, I think it, for me this is the the, the way. Okay. Um... Along with, as you said, uh, I believe that traveling is education, you know? Mm -hmm. You travel for your own education. You, you must travel to educate yourself in a broad sense. Not yeah. we're talking about materials and architecture, but I believe it's beyond that. It's in a broad sense, you need to travel and you need to travel not like as a consumer, consumer of places, you need to travel and, and to train your vision and an intellect and see what, how other people live, how they do, they do, they do in, in a different way, the same thing as you. Like, it's amazing when you travel and see someone solving a problem in a way you would never do because you could never imagine that. Like construction is, is like that. They, when you travel with curiosity, that's why how we learn traveling, we travel with curiosity and involvement, not as a consumption. You, you learn a lot because you, you, 
I don't believe we create the way we think. Uh, it's not something magical. The creative, the creative person is not someone who has magic. He's someone who has a wide repertoire of things and high capacity of association. The more you travel, the more information, critical information you get, the more you're able to do whatever you want to do, in this case, architecture. So it, I think it's super important to, to create a repertoire, for example, and to educate yourself. Uh, and you can, obviously, you can travel inside your country, inside your own culture, in order to maintain it and keep on going. Because something else I believe is that no technique or tradition is dead, like it's done. It, it is in a constant process of doing. Uh, even the earth can be developed, further developed and be current again, you know? Yeah, I, I, I like to think about the example, everybody, student, architecture, I don't know, in my country, go to Europa to see something about uh, Gaudí. Oh, the place is Gaudí, it's incredible, yes. But Gaudí looks for, uh, in the past, for, for, for what place? And why Gaudí use that uh, shapes? Because they are expo um, a colon, uh, they co they, they, they colonizadores, colonizers, colonizers in Africa. So the 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 Africa, uh, uh, the culture about con construction and shaping and play go to um, they they live to is, is, uh, to Spain. So is that thing the the process about I think. Uh, it's important when you travel. Why? Why I look this and why? Why this is here? Because of what? And I think for for that, I think it's more important. You look for the nature. You look for the old, ancient culture. Because when you look for that, you think, oh my God, this God, God, you don't, 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 don't think this is alone. They have a lot of process for this happen. You know, and uh, the people. The young people uh, don't have um, time sometimes for think about that because we just take the time in Instagram and gamers or super superficial uh, uh, things or, or visual superficial things, you know? You see an uh, Arcadelio or some place, ah, this is nice beauty, this is amazing. But I think you can create a connection for the, the, the past and you can create a new thing because the new is not the guy who have an amazing idea. Because if, if you think about ideas, we use ours. So the, the people use ours. We're not create, creating something super new. We just uh, tell uh, stories about the stories with the new shapes, you know? I think this is important. Very good question. Uh, any more questions? If we don't, we may conclude maybe. Yeah. As you wish. Yeah. Thanks again. Thanks so, a lot thanks for being for with us. Much. Thank you so much. I hope of this you can we inspire you. Uh, inspiring your class and your way in the new process in your lives. Okay. It really okay, did. Great. It was inspiring. Thank you. Keep in touch. <laughs> oh, bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. Ciao, ciao. Thank you very much. <laughs> ciao. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye.